Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Today we're going to go and work through an example of how you can somewhat predict profitability for future time periods. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to work out, okay, well, based on knowns, uh, based on, on what we have historically achieved, how can we use that information to predict what we might achieve in the future? Okay, and so I've tried to bring in a number of different factors uh, indirectly via utilizing time intelligence functions. Now, in reality, there's probably a couple of ways that you could do this, right? Um, but, uh, and, and there's a number of different, uh, I guess, scenarios or factors that you might want to incorporate into these calculations. Well, you certainly could, but in this, and in, in, in the, um, and you, all you've got to do is use the same techniques that I'm going to use here, but maybe just alter them or slightly adjust them um, to actually get your desired result. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use purely time intelligence calcs, and I'm going to average them up and then say, okay, well, based on how I've historically performed over, um, you know, uh, from, from some uh, equal time periods uh, far, into the, um, far into the past, or, uh, but also factoring in what's happening in the near term as well, because there could be some near term cyclical factors or political factors or socio um, economic factors that um, are going to impact our results. So I think we've got to factor them all in. So this is how you can actually do it, right? So what I've done is I said, okay, well, I can work out what my total profits is um, based on, say, well, and this could be, say, a current in, in the current month. Um, or in this case, I've got the current quarter selected. We could say total sales minus total costs, and that's going to give us total profits. So pretty, pretty simple stuff, right? But then, obviously, we've got to create our prediction. So if we look at if we look at this visualization here, you'll see that this blue one is essentially the prediction, the predicted result. Okay. And so what I did is I went and used uh, the date add function. I've 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 demoed this a few times. Um, and, but uh, what I've done is I've said, okay, well, I want to go and retrieve the exact same month's profits the year before. I also want to go back two years ago. So I'm using date add here and I'm jumping back two years. So, so that covers me from, say, um, a monthly perspective. You know, say, for instance, we're in December. Well, we need to go and factor and say, you know, last December and the, 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 the December before that to say, okay, well, on average, this is, this is the profitability for those particular months for good reason. But what I've also done is I've said, okay, well, because of these short-term factors that could be impacting performance as well, we've really got to actually factor those in too. It's no good just looking back um, um, last year and the year before and say, okay, well, that's that's enough for our prediction. We've got to somehow, uh, we've somehow got to just, I guess, factor in near-term um, impacts as well. And so what I've done is I've also gone and jumped back, okay, well, what was our profit last month? And what was our profit two months ago? So that's going to showcase those sort of impacts, right? And then what I've done for my profit prediction, I've said, okay, well, let's bring in all of these different results. I mean, in, in just looking at this now, I could have actually excluded this one here. So I might actually do it. I might actually do that because we want to actually look at, um, say, this particular this particular results in comparison. And so all I've done, right, is I've said, okay, well, go and um, count up last year, profits last year, two years ago, last month, two years ago, and divide it by four. And that's going to give us an average or prediction uh, for how our sales might go. And then we can use this, and that's what's so powerful, is we can now use this particular result in, say, visualizations like we've got, um, like I've got here, showing by date. Um, but we can also utilize them with the rest of our model, right? And I can say, okay, well, here's my profit prediction versus what we actually made uh, in that particular uh, month. And I'm looking at it from a state perspective here, and I've also got it on my product context here as well. So obviously, you know, this is not it's not perfect, right? So um, you know, if you if you really wanted to be a stickler for you know is is, is this um, is this relevant? There's a few holes that you could pick in this, right? But this just showcases how you can do it. You can use historical. I mean, you there, there's there's with any prediction, there's knowns and there's unknowns, right? Well, unknowns are things that you just have no control of and you don't know that they're going to appear. So you know, in reality, it's very hard to build those into your models, but there are many knowns, and knowns from a results perspective is what has historically happened. And so you can actually go off that information as best you can. 
I also would also probably throw in some what if parameters on top of this potentially because you want to say okay well what if something did happen well you've got to you've got to maybe also factor that in as well but that's for another video in this case I just wanted to showcase the combination of these time intelligence functions bring them all together and you can create some sort of prediction um, in this case we've looked at profitability for future time periods so pretty powerful stuff right okay so I'm going to round things off there um, um, hopefully you can you know get your head around sort of the calculate function date date add the um, you know the all the other time intelligence functions etc you know, really really powerful stuff and then the and then the real um, you know the real quality insight comes from combining all of these um, techniques together and that's what you want to be trying to always achieve with your analysis and power bi and especially using dax formula Okay, so I'm going to round things off there. All the best um, implementing this one in your own environments. You can download this resource um, via a small investment uh, at Enterprise DNA online. So check that out. Um, and uh, if you like the content, I would um, really appreciate a like on the video. Um, re really, really thanks a lot for all those um, who've, who've done that in the past for me. Uh, and then also don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Um, you know, if you want this content as soon as it's released and as soon as it comes out, um, then if you, if you hit the subscription, but uh, you'll, you'll receive it so uh, all the best good luck with these techniques hopefully you can see the the you know the exponential potential of how you can you know just do amazing analysis inside of power bi okay take care speak to you soon